the road from Bellum. I'm absolutely exhausted. I need to tell you all about my journey. It's been the journey from hell, literally. It's been so bad. I had to stand pretty much the whole way. But I'll chat to you when I get home. I am just home. That journey got worse from me speaking to you in the taxi to getting here. I just had a really weird interaction with the taxi driver who thought that I was like, when I put, when I brought the camera up to my face and like was obviously doing a little vlog and then he noticed he stopped the car and then I was like directing him. I thought he just wanted me to like direct him where to drop me off. Started the car again, but he starts like driving really slowly up our driveway. And then like he, he started going, you were filming me on your phone. You were filming me on your phone. I, and I kind of like laughed because I just thought like, you know, he's just got the wrong end of the stick. And I was like, oh no, I was like filming myself. I was filming myself, like clearly pointing at me. He was like, no, I saw you. I see you. I see your phone. I was like, oh my God, no. And I just kept saying, no, it was, I wasn't filming you. I was just filming me. And then I was like getting it from my, get my phone out and like paying. And then he came out of his side of the taxi and came around to my side. He opened the door and he was like standing right at like where I needed to get out. And so like I got out, I had all my bags. I got out and then he's like in my face, he's like, are you sure? Are you sure? And I was like, yeah and like I was a bit panicked at this point because like this is like a bit of a dead end like you couldn't really see and like oh my god it's just horrendous and then it, well it wasn't horrendous but it was just like such an aggressive like way to be and then I like got my phone out and like showed him the video and then I like, just walked away he was just like he stood there as well and watched me come into the flat it was horrible such a nutter anyway <laughs> sorry about that little interlude I have had I'm just back from York the train journey was mental. So I think due to all the rain this weekend, there's been some sort of crazy flooding or just like some problem with the train lines and the train before ours was canceled. So then my train, there was four carriages and there was like hundreds of people on the platform. Like the train seats were all taken up pretty much, already taken up before it got to York. Well, when it came into York station and it was just crazy, like everyone pushing to get on the train. At one point I was like, I'm not going to even get on this train at this rate. There's no, like, there's no way. There's too many people. So I had to like run down the platform and squeeze on. And I had to stand the whole way. York to London, King's Cross is only like two hours. But this was like, they had to divert and go cross country because of some problem somewhere. And luckily I didn't book with LNER because all of the LNER train lines, train tickets were like cancelled to London because of this problem. So yeah, I stood the whole way. And then I got on the tube at King's Cross to come down to Balham and there was a whole football team of screaming like seven or eight year olds of these little boys taking up like almost every single seat in the tube carriage and then their parents taking up the remaining tubes, the remaining seats. So I stood on the tube, which is fine, but they were behaving so badly. They were like punching each other, screaming, like I've never seen kids behave like that. It was mental. <sighs> And then I got out and had that ordeal with the taxi driver. So I'm kind of on the brink right now. This has not been a very good travel day for me. I'm so happy to be home. And it's actually not even four o'clock yet, which is quite good. I just came in and put the Christmas tree lights on. And I've just noticed my Aldi roses are still going. I mean, they've probably seen better days, but it's quite good that they're still in full swing. I am gonna show you quickly what I got for dinner for me and Matt, because he's out of football just now. And when he gets home, He'll be hungry, so he asked me to pick him up a chicken arbiata. Um, he had a curry last night, so he's not having what I'm having, but I got him this, and then it was two for six pounds. These used to be three for seven pounds, now they're two for six, which is ridiculous. Beef lasagna just for the freezer or whatever. And then I got my favourite. Matt had curry last night, but I got my favourite best ever chicken tikka masala from m and Like, this is to die for. This is the best. Um, it serves two, so I'm going to save portion and have it for dinner on Monday night. And then I just got two large garlic and coriander nans, which are gonna be good. I'm gonna put this lamp on. And maybe I'll do my advent calendar because I'm kind of starving. What day is it now? It's Vlogmas day 10. Has Matt already done this one? Here we are. Oh, salted caramel cream. I feel like this will be good. That is so good. Okay, impressed. Okay, I'm gonna make myself something. 
a little bite. Um, it's too early to have dinner right now, but I'm gonna make myself a little something. And then I'm gonna get cozy on the sofa. I might put out the Christmas presents that my mum very kindly packed for us. I'm gonna get cozy on the sofa, do a little bit of editing, light the candles, and watch the Squid Game show. It's actually crazy, that show. It's really, really good. It's like hundreds of people who want to compete in like real Squid Games, but they all have to like sleep together in the big room from like the TV show and, and from the Netflix series. And it's crazy, just all the people are mental. Ow, I feel so old. These, I don't know if you can see, but my mum does the best Christmas presents, like so much wrapping, all these lovely gifts for me and Matt. She's so thoughtful. And my dad, they're from both my parents, obviously. These are for me. And I believe I have another, another one of these. And they'll look lovely under the tree. And then I think this is from my family. Oh, for both of them. Love a Space NK package. You know you're getting something good. Space NK. Sometimes. Matt's gift is in here, but I don't really want to show you in case he watches my videos which I don't think he does anymore. This is good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, anytime. I mean, this is a mid-afternoon snack though. pajamas as soon as you get home sort of person and when I was in York I actually picked up these the viral ones from Primark my mum and my sister both have them and say they're amazing these only cost 15 pounds even though they're black I didn't really want black because I think black ain't my color I'm too pale for that yeah it makes me look like I'm from the walking dead when you get up in the morning with no makeup and you're pale <laughs> you don't want to be wearing black <laughs> anyway I am obsessed with these pajamas. I'm just finishing making my cup of tea. And I'm gonna get cozy. I do need to finish unpacking my bags. Because look at this. Oh, I also picked up in Primark these little reusable cotton pads. I never go to Primark, usually because it's so busy, but I've got these little reusable cleansing pads, which I just thought are good for taking off makeup. And then I got a pack of three pairs of tights.
I thought quickly before I settled down for the evening on this bed, this sofa, I would quickly wrap some of Matt's presents because he's actually out of football just now. So I'm gonna wrap his gifts. These are things that I got this weekend. I'll show you what they are obviously when I'm wrapping, but I don't really have anywhere to hide them in this flat that he won't see them. So I thought it's best if I just get them wrapped and put under the tree. And then we don't have to worry about him finding the stocking for my, sorry, the radiator keeps clicking. And I keep thinking, I just put the heating on and I keep thinking that it's some intruder in here and I'm always like looking around. Uh, Mum very kindly picked him up this aftershave. This, by the way, is going to be instead of the men's gift guide because I can't think of anything for generic men. I'm so bad with gifting for men. So these are very Matthew specific because he's starting a new job in January and these are things that he wanted. This is from my mum for him. It's a Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc Eau de Toilette. I'm so bad at saying these things. Eau de Toilette, Toilette in this fragrance called Legend. To be honest, I actually picked this because he was just like, I said, what do you want from my mum? And he said, any aftershave. He's not picky with aftershave. And I thought, perfect, I can just pick one that I like then. So we got him this one. I think he's gonna love it. We got him the big size. Then the rest of the gifts are from me. So I got him this. Um, it's like a quarter zip, merino wool, extra fine, really, really soft uh, quarter zip just for work, basically. I got it in 2XL. He is six foot five, so he's very tall, but he likes to wear a shirt underneath, obviously, for the office. And I just think sometimes like these things can look really tight and I just didn't want it tight. So I got him in 2XL, but obviously I have the receipt so he can return it if not. I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like on the model because obviously you can't see this. This was £45, which I thought was quite a good price and I think he would just get so much wear out of it. I got a pair of, what are these even called? Taylor Fit Long m and dark, very dark navy blue, almost black trousers with the seam down the front, like as in an iron seam in there. And I just thought like a really good staple for work. I know these don't seem like very exciting Christmas presents, but he really needs a few work bits and I thought good. I couldn't resist because I had planned to, we had already agreed that I would get him some slippers and look how big this box is. I couldn't resist because he wears my Ugg slippers all the time. Like when I come home after being away for a weekend, he's always walking around the house with my little Ugg slippers on. My, my feet are not little by the way, they're size seven, but just compared to his, they look very little on his feet. Um, he is a size, 13 so these were very difficult to find i actually managed to get 12 and a half so he's like a 12 or a 13 and usually i mean they're slippers they're open back i'll just show you them quickly so i don't know if you can see these but they are oh they're so nice they're the ugg slippers the scuffette in gray for the men gray and black this is like black leather. They're just so comfy. Like before I had a pair of Ugg slippers, I never thought that they would be a good gift because I was like, who's spending a hundred pounds on a pair of slippers? Such a waste of money, blah, blah, blah. I wear these every single day. You know, from my female women's gift guide anyway, that I just so highly, highly recommend them. And I just think these are such a nice little luxury. You wear them every day and yeah, I think they're a great investment. So I got him these as well. So that is kind of it. That's all I have to wrap. Um, obviously I got other stuff this weekend, but it was mostly for me, which is so bad. I shopped far too much. But I did need some new winter things. Um, I didn't need anything new, but I, I kind of wanted just a few wardrobe updates. So that's what I treated myself to. And of course I have the receipts for everything. So if he doesn't like any of it or he wants to return, then he can. So they're the kind of three gifts for me. I've got the Ugg slippers, the hat, the quarter zip and the trousers. And then my mum has given him this. And then she's she's also got him like, so the same pants and socks and stuff that my brother and my dad and my sister's boyfriend get. So I have a lot of presents under this tree. And also this is so funny and cute. My mum got this to put Matt's aftershave in and then the aftershave obviously didn't fit. So, because it's bigger. I said the same happened with my brothers. So I've got to buy something from, from her and put it in here for him, which is just so funny and cute. So
I love wrapping small square boxes. I feel like they're just the easiest things to do. I hope you guys have been enjoying Vlogmas. I feel like it's been such a fun thing for me to do. I just like absolutely love making videos. I find it so fun. I find it so nice to watch back and with my family being all over the place, just nice for like they watch the videos and then like message me about it and they're so nice about it all, which is lovely. And yeah, I just find it so enjoyable. I'm loving doing it, so. I don't know what I'll do in January. I might be a bit lost for, I don't know, I feel like I'm, every hour of the day I'm like doing some editing or, or filming or something like that. And now I'm just like, I feel like I'm really into the swing of it, which is good. This is also the first year of Christmas of my whole life that I've not spent with my family. I've never been away from them for Christmas before, so I am quite sad about that, to be honest. We usually do like a whole family thing where my mum's two sisters and her, like they take it in turns to host everyone. So we have such a big family Christmas, like it's a bit mental, but it's always so much fun. And yeah, this is the first year that I won't be there for that. So all my cousins and stuff get together and it's such a fun time. Um, this year we're doing it with Matt's mum, which will be really nice. Just the three of us, it'll be totally different, like a super chill Christmas. And then I think I'm planning to come back to London, do New Year in London, which I do most years anyway, and see a couple of my friends, like one of my friends, Nina, is back home in India for, well, she's been there for the last couple of weeks, so I've not seen her, so I think we're going to try and get a little date in the diary between Christmas and New Year because she'll definitely still be in London. Um, and yeah, just catching up with people be really nice. I don't have any time off work over Christmas, so I'm going to work from home at Matt's mum's, obviously. And then just like any days. I think and then over the next few weeks, I think it's perfectly acceptable to work from home. It's December. And my company, actually a lot of people in my company are from South Africa because the company is South African and yeah a lot of them go home for Christmas to South Africa and work from home there so I think it's fine for me to also do the same definitely be testing the water with that one I do enjoy being in the office to be honest like when I come home from a day in the office I feel so good for having been out and you know when you just kind of not forced to talk to people but you kind of you have to socially engage and be chatty and my company I have such a good bunch of people that I work with so it doesn't feel like a chore but the mornings getting the thought of the tube every day is quite painful and with the darker mornings just getting up and getting ready and like there's no daylight it's just a little bit of a struggle these days um, Although I have no, I mean, I feel really sorry for people with kids. I can't imagine what that must be like coming to the office, having to go back to doing the commute and like drop kids off at school and then get on the tube and stuff. I just, I feel so tired as it is and I'm single, not, I'm not single, but I'm not married. I don't have any responsibilities, like no children or anything. So I really feel for those people, it must be horrific. Hi. I am loving the run up to Christmas. I just feel like I'm feeling a proper sense of the year coming to a close and winding down. Like, it's just been, I feel like this year overall has been such a good year. Me and Matt have like properly settled into living here. We're totally used to living together. This is like our second year of living in the flat together. And it definitely takes some adjusting to move in with someone. I think people, I mean, you obviously know the person before you move in with them. And it's just like a big adjustment to living with a boy, I think. Or just having someone else in your space 24-7. Now I like really miss him when I'm not with him. Um, but there was a real adjustment phase at the start where, um, yeah, you're really getting used to just having someone else in your own space. I look back and I'm like, I can't believe I did flat shares in London for so long. It's actually mental. If you'd like me to do any videos about the process of living in London and renting and you know what it's like to move here, 
because I moved here from Scotland. It was a long time ago now, but I'm still well aware of the moving processes. I have a lot of friends who've kind of come and gone over the past few years and have a lot of stories, a lot of experiences with all of that stuff. And it's, yeah, it's all a bit, it's, it's mental out there. But yeah, I think, I think it's been a really good year for me. I feel so settled with, in my relationship, in my flat. I just like am in a really happy place at the minute. I'm loving the stage of life. I'm able to live comfortably in London now. Obviously not owning a flat, which is just outrageous, but you know, I'm happy to live in this gorgeous flat. And I'm close to my brother, who's just down the road. Um, I'm comfortable at work. Like things are, it's kind of like a, a period of a bit of a pause for me because I feel like for a good few years when I first moved here, it was constant like worrying about work and like passing exams to become chartered and then kind of trying to move up the career ladder a little bit and then moving flats and trying to find like a nice place to live and nice flatmates and then like meeting Matt and like I feel like everything's just kind of falling into place a little bit um, and it's just been like a nice year of working hard but also you kind of feel like you know the things you enjoy doing I'm now like 30 and I'm having more nights in, less hangovers, still some hangovers of course, but just less and less severe because I've not been going out as much. And just like, yeah, spending, spending my time doing things I love. Like I love, I'm definitely someone that loves being, I do love being at home, but I also love a lot, a really nice dinner out, trying new restaurants in London, enjoying nice wine, chatting, small plate restaurants, you know, those kind of places. Um, and I just feel like I've just become so much more comfortable at seeing what my preferences are for people. Like, I'd rather stay in, or I'd rather, not, I wouldn't say that to someone, but I'd rather go to like a restaurant than a club or a bar, you know. Second present done. The wrapping paper's from Kyrie, by the way. This one's got candy canes on it. That's not very well done, but candy canes, and then this is little bobbles and socks, not socks, stockings. Oh, so yeah, I feel like it's just been a great year. We're going to do a big family holiday as well next year with my mum and dad and my brother and sister and their boyfriends, which will be so nice. And yeah. Life is good. I'm really enjoying the end of this year and just like settling down, taking like a bit, taking it a little bit slower. And yeah, although this week I've got a lot on. I have some, I have a Christmas night out with my work friends, like not a, not a work arranged party, but like we've arranged it like a work dinner, not a work dinner, a girls from work Mexican dinner. We're going out on Wednesday night. We're gonna go to a Mexican restaurant. I need to get some tags for these presents. Also, one thing I want to ask, just as a general question, does anyone suffer or know anyone that suffers with eczema on their ears? I get it. I think, well, I mean, I'm self-diagnosing here, but I'm having such itchy ears and such like problems with it. About six months ago, I went to the GP and I explained to them like I've got really itchy ears like something isn't going well in there like it just it's not like it doesn't feel bad it's just really itchy I got an ear infection like what is going on and they didn't they couldn't tell and she like had a look and she's like oh it doesn't seem to be anything like well this is gross but she's like we'll send you to go and get um, a syringe done like they cleared out my ear sort of thing which is so gross and the whole experience was gross like i don't even want to go into it it was vile yeah that was like ages ago and they gave me some drops and everything they're like use these like this should help and nothing has helped it's absolutely the most infuriating thing like it's just like constant itching and it feels gross because you want like i'm itching it's like the ear canal it's not like anything it's not wax it's not inside it's just like dry skin and I'm constantly like itching or whatever and it looks like I'm just picking my ears. My suspicion is that I'm allergic to AirPods, like the silicone on the AirPods, because 
And I think of how long I've been. having these problems for, I think it coincides with my use of AirPods. This is everything all wrapped. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I am just about to tuck into my delicious MS best ever chicken tikka masala, which is the best curry ever. And I'm gonna start watching The Night Agent. I've just seen a really quick clip of it and it looks really fast paced and it's like an FBI hunting down a guy who plants a bomb. So very interesting. I am gonna tuck into this and it's only just seven o'clock now. So I have an hour or so before Matt comes in. So I'm gonna try and watch at least an episode of this and just chill and then get all my stuff ready for work tomorrow. So I hope you're all having a lovely December and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.